This is a morning news update for InfoLive TV, April 18th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas is reported to have reached an agreement with the Islamic Jihad to stop all Qassam rocket attacks on Israel. The Islamic Jihad is the only terrorist organization that has refused to recognize the so-called Tadiya or Qam. An Islamic Jihad spokesman in Gaza said he had no knowledge of the agreement. Prime Minister Ehud Olmert is to present a three-year plan today for combating poverty, which will include for the first time employment and unemployment targets. Up until now, previous governments were not ready to commit. Members of the Winograd Committee have recently tried to enlist the cooperation of several senior IDF officers to support their demands to postpone the release of testimonies for publication until after the interim report is published. Due to the ongoing court procedures, two committee members said they may resign. U.S. Defense Secretary Robert Gates will discuss the Iranian nuclear threat and regional developments at meetings today in Israel. It is the first time in eight years that a U.S. defense minister has visited the country. Israel is expected to ask Gates to increase financial assistance. Hundreds gathered at the Virginia Tech University campus on Tuesday to mourn the deaths of 32 murdered by a crazed gunman. The body of Israeli Professor Librescu is expected to arrive in Israel today for burial. Librescu, a Holocaust survivor, was killed while trying to protect his students. The caption on the gravestones of 119 soldiers killed in the Second Lebanon War has been changed by the Defense Ministry from died in battle to died in war. The caption change comes days before the nation marks Remembrance Day for Israel's fallen. A day after Holocaust Day, 20 rabbis demonstrated outside the UN headquarters in New York on Tuesday, demanding that the US take harsher action against Iran. Israeli photographer Oded Beliti has won the infamous Pulitzer Prize for his photo of the evacuation of Amona last year. The photo shows a settler girl pushing up against a wire fence to prevent security forces from reaching her. InfoLife TV visits the International Magic Conference in Holon. And Le Pen's election tactics. Take one rubber band and I just melt it, I melt it, I melt it in the second rubber band. Watch, it just disappears like that. You know what, it's already here. You have to see it, look at it very, very carefully. So now we have two rubber bands, yes? And one is inside the loop of the second one with the fingers. Watch, it doesn't come out, not from there and not up and not down. All I have to do is smudge it together like that and I just say rub, rub, rubber band, and it just goes right through, just like that. Infolive.tv, the world's first television channel broadcasting on the web in four languages, live from Jerusalem. If you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, Infolive TV is there, at the heart of the information, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel. Infolive.tv.